Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Guys, I have found another new CLI based AI coding agent and its name is Crash CLI. Here you see this is the GitHub repository. It is completely free guys. And here you see that uh, this is the actual interface. And here you can use any open router model for free. And also you can use any open AI model, any cloud model, any Gork model. You can add it here for free. Just give your API key here and you can use it and here you see that uh, many people are actually comparing it with the cloud code but there is a lot of difference between this cross cli and cloud code and also in this video i will tell you that this cross cli can beat cloud code or not okay so stay with me till this end of this video you will learn a lot of things so first of all go to this github repository and uh, scroll down below i have given this repository link in description just copy this npm command so this is the npm command copy it by the way if you are on mac then you can use this homebrew command otherwise if you are on linux you can use it and i always prefer this npm so copy it and open your terminal or command prompt and just paste it and press enter so this class cli will be installed globally in your machine now after that open your project folder so this is my project folder here you see html css js files are there now open it cmd and here just write crush cross and now press enter now you will see that cool interface this is the cross cli cool interface now let me close all of that browsers and just open it only okay now here you see that all of that models you will see this gemini model open ai model cloud model now if you use that up and down arrow key in your keyboard then you will be able to go below and there you will see that this is the model like uh, this open router horizon beta that i discussed yesterday so this is the model this was the model horizon beta and this queen 3 coder horizon alpha all of that model you will see here in this list okay also this glm 4.5 and this uh, other gemini models so let me select this horizon beta because this is the new model many people are saying that that it is the gpt5 uh, kind of model so let me select it now after you select that model it will ask you to enter your open router api key so for that let me go to my open router and just click this keys and here click on this create api key and just give a name that uh, horizon okay horizon and click on this create so i am showing you from scratch so that you can understand that what you need to do when you are installing this cross cli okay so many people are actually doesn't show this from scratch so that's why many of you gets confused right but i always show it from the scratch so this is my api key now after pasting this api key here you see that this will be written to the global configuration app data local cross cross or json now if i just do this windows plus r and they are just write app data click on this ok and here you see that if i go to this local and inside that you will find that cross where is that cross yes this one cross and inside that we have this provider only now if i press enter here you will see that cross.json okay this is the provider so if i open this cross.json file then you will see see here this provider open router and this is the api key so if you want to change your configuration you can directly go to this cross.json and you can just change this model here otherwise they have a different cli option where you can actually change to any model later okay now it is asking that would you like to initialize now click on this um, enter and after you that you see that uh, it will initialize that uh, folder okay so currently it is reading all of that files and now the interesting thing is that it's uh, looks and how elegant and how clean it uh, looks right now see that it will ask you for the permission now click on this allow so after that it will be able to read and write all of that files and uh, now it will make that dot git ignore file also and now just press enter allow because it has not found that git ignore file previously and it has created and added this git ignore file and this is the important file right now i can just write hi and it will just uh, give me the reply hi 
Now let me tell you some of the feature that Crash supports. So if you just write Crash and press enter then you will see this kind of interface and here you see that I am currently using this Horizon Beta this model this new model and now if you just notice below they have just uh, displaying some of the comments that you can use in this crash cli what are that comments control plus p for the comments shift plus enter for the new line control plus c for the quit and if i just press control plus g then you will see more comments like if you want to add an image then this control plus f for this slash to add the file uh, so just if i just write slash you will see that uh, what specific file you want to add for the context like if you want to do any changes in specifically index.html file then you can just select that index.html file here and uh, you can do any kind of changes there okay and uh, just press esc for the cancel and here you see control plus f and it will ask you to add the images here so in which file you want to add the image okay and again press the esc and uh, control plus o to open in editor your specific choice and there is not uh, much option in in this uh, crash cli control plus s is specifically maintaining a new session suppose i am in this session right currently now if you want to start any specific uh, another session then you can uh, use it is control plus s it will start another new session and also another interesting thing is that here you can easily zoom in and zoom out so if you just uh, do this control plus and control minus then you can easily zoom in and zoom out and this is not breaking this is heavily responsive and this is actually an interesting thing okay and the looks is very elegant and very beautiful to work with this crash cli otherwise there is a lot of feature that is missing in this crash cli now this portion i will discuss now i will just compare this uh, crash cli with the plot code and i will tell you that what is the difference between this crash cli and plot code and now if i just ask it that add this toggle theme button theme button and just press enter now it will do all of that task now the interesting thing is that it is asking me that do you want to use that local storage i have not seen this kind of uh, question from many of the popular uh, provider also but here in this cli i have got this kind of um, question because when i use the gemini cli they just implemented it in their own way but they have not asked me that whether i want to use that local storage or whether i want to use it on the fly okay so this type of question asked is very much necessary when you are using any cli agent or you can say any llm model okay now just write yes and now it will do its work now you see that it has done that comparison that this dark and light and all of that things what are the variables it is uh, adding all of the thing it is uh, giving one by one so this is exactly working like the cloud code here you see that i have placed this both crash cli and cloud code side by side to compare so in case of crash cli if i just uh, write slash here you see that currently it is pointing to all of that files that i have in my folder this html css and js there is no specific comment that it is showing right but in case of plot code here you see that uh, if i just uh, press slash then you will find many uh, commands to run like uh, add directory slash agents which is very popular they introduced some days ago to add the sub agents if you want to add front end developer agent if you want to add back end developer agent if you want to add architecture agent so basically you can build one ai team with these slash agents but that type of command is not present in this class cli okay now in case of cloud here you see next is the slash bug slash clear slash compact okay so if you have a uh, summary uh, if you have a large conversation then you can make that conversation into a summary so that you can create a context and in that case your token will be consumed very less okay this option is also not there in class cli and also there is a slash config option slash uh, cost option to show the total cost and another interesting thing is that uh, this is the slash hooks so if you have uh, multiple agents and if you want to perform any action before that um, 
agent tool calling happen then in that case you can use this slash hooks to perform any specific action okay but that type of things also not there in cross cli and also this uh, slash init so if you just uh, write slash init it will create one cloud.md file where you can write your uh, project specific plan and all of that things that documentation that where, what you should take and what is your plan okay and uh, what architecture your project follows that things you can include that cloud.md file and it is very much necessary for a good project but that option is also missing in cross cli okay and also there are many option and another important thing is this uh, slash mcp and slash memory okay this mcp option is very much necessary for a project like if you see in vs code for client root code all of that uh, have have that mcp option right and also this cloud have this uh, mcp option now in case of cross cli they have mentioned this mcp things in this way so if you go to their github repository scroll down and there you will see that mcp configuration here you see this is the mcp configuration they are telling that you can go to your cross.json file so that they have made this is the cross.json file and in this file only you can add this mcp in this way so just copy it and paste it there okay so if i just go uh to my mcp just format this document these are the models provider all other things and here just paste it okay this mcp portion just paste it and after that you can add any mcp like they have uh, given one example github mcp streaming service mcp so in this way you can add your context 7 mcp or whatever mcp you can use you can copy this context 7 code and write it uh, here in this uh in place of github and it will uh, work successfully but that is very much time consuming process okay and uh, in case of cursor or in case of wine or in case of cloud also you have seen that uh, we don't do this kind of work manually now because uh, there are a lot of uh, configuration you need to do in case of cross cli okay so this is a very bad approach that i have seen and also in case of cloud code there is a redo and undo option uh, if you see uh, this is the specific repository or package you see that cc uh, undo okay so if you go to this github cc undo uh, there it actually provides this undo and redo feature in cloud code okay and uh, if you install these things uh, this npm install minus gcc undo then it will support that feature also in cloud code but in case of uh, cross cli there is no undo and redo feature and also this uh, cross cli doesn't support any plan mode feature okay so this cross cli actually uh, in, a, in a primary stage i will not recommend you to use this cross cli now if you want to use this mcp or if you want to use any uh, plan a specific or you can say the task master then in that case this cross cli will not be very helpful but if you want to just edit your file in that case you can go with this cross cli but if you want to do uh, any kind of agentic things like if you want to make multiple sub agents and mcps uh, need to communicate with that agents then in that case cross cli is very beginner friendly it will not work in that way okay so in that case you need to be dependent in cloud code and one thing if you see that in cloud code also you can add any model in that last video in that last video where is that video uh, that here you see this is the video is cloud code and coen3 coder integration in that video i have already shown you that how can how you can use any model which supports the tool calling uh, you can use that model in this cloud code okay so uh, you can watch that that video also uh, so if you can use any other model in cloud code then why will you go for this cross cli right you understood my point right why you should use this uh, cross cli you are already getting getting the benefit in this cloud code you are not using that cloud for sonnet model you are using the newly introduced model like uh, glm 4.5 kimi k2 or you can say coen3 coder these are the very popular model right and you can use that model with this cloud code sub agent mcp option then why will you go for this cross cli 
i think you got my point otherwise if you want to just test if you want to just edit your file then you can go for this crust like it is your choice i have done the full comparison guys and if you have any question in your mind just let me know in the comment section otherwise here you see that i have already published many videos on this notebook llm horizon beta and many many things so if you found this video helpful this detail explanation see no one will tell you this kind of detail explanation this kind of detail uh, differentiation between this cloud code and crust CLI. i always try to make it simple so that people can understand but uh, if you found that this is very complex to you this is your fault not my fault because i always try to make it simplify so if you found this video helpful guys don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video and see you guys in the next video thanks for watching 